Right, let's get started on removing uh, seam lines from canopies. Now what we, what it is, is um, you end up having seam lines going down the centre of canopies now these days um, and they don't look that nice and we want to get rid of them um, to have ourselves a nice, shiny, um, as realistically looking canopy as possible because let's face it, you know, it's like the magpie effect, you want to look at the cockpit area, right, so this is something we want to take care of. Now, to get rid of this seam line, the first thing I do is um, I put a nice, fresh number 11 blade onto my um, Winsor & Newton uh, number 3 handle. And what you want to do, now this is where you need to be very careful, is very, very lightly, where our little seam line is, we just want to very, very lightly start to scrape it across. Right, we just want to just take the seam line, right? The seam line is a slightly raised um, kind of hairline um, sort of bit of plastic and that is almost virtually gone now but we don't want to be scraping into the um, actual um, canopy itself. Just that hairline bit of a raised bit of flash that we've got going on here. Right, now with this particular canopy, we have actually got a line that goes down the middle as well, which is actually part of it. Um, so we want to leave that in place, but we've still got to get rid of this seam line. And even when we come off what is supposed to be the glassy area, um, <coughs> there is also a bit of a seam line at the end here, which we can also give a little bit of a scrape. But remember, we're talking light, tiny bits of scraping here. We're not digging into this putting loads of pressure on it we're keeping it nice and light right so that now has gone that seam line there is now all nice and gone but we've got a little bit of a mark left over from um, scraping with our blade and this is where we come in with some nice light um, sanding sticks now I've got here a um, sanding stick by uh, Mod Design Construction. It's a bit old, it's a bit used, uh, and the more older and used a sanding stick gets, although this is supposed to be a fine grit, um, what's going to happen is, because it's old and used, it's going to be even finer, and we really want it to be nice and fine. And what I want to do is, nice bit of um, wet sanding, is just start to sand now at our uh, um, area, where we've done that bit of scraping, where our seam line was and we just want to start to now sand our way through the grits to get this all nice and polished up right, now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to do this one little area here just to speed things up and just show you how I'm removing it right, now I've just sanded that away with the, the fine sanding grit Right, but as you can see now, it's a little bit murky, a little bit, oh well, we didn't get quite right to the edge. Right, as you can see, it's a little bit kind of murky now, but that is feeling nice and smooth. There's definitely no seam line going on there. We've just got to polish it back all nice. Um, now I like to use this sanding grit which is a very kind of fine spongy um, sanding grit, grit also by uh, Mod Design Construction and as I say we're going down the grits nice and slowly until we get to our buffing uh, final sanding grit. Now as you're wet sanding don't forget to do circles like I'm doing here wipe away, see your work, then let's get on to our next sanding grits. Now we've got two types of sanding sticks here, both from Model Design Construction. Um, the blue and the green side is like a very kind of like uh, fine fine sort of buffing grit and then our white is just like literally um, you just can't even feel a grit on it, it just buffs it up real nice and shiny. But we'll, we'll start with our um, <coughs> our green one here and what we're going to do now we're just going to start to do buff this up nicely notice I'm not using water with this one because it does kind of obliterate 
these types of sanding sticks and you might start to hear a bit of a squeak and that's what you want to hear because that's kind of saying to you that you're getting this all nice and polished up now right, and we'll just rub that away a bit and then this is where the magic starts to happen is when you get your white side your final kind of buff in and you really sort of give it a buff and then you start to see it all go back nice and shiny start to hear a bit of a squeak right then here we go as you can see nice bit of a scrape with a blade getting rid of the actual seam itself and then we've just worked our way through all those um, what was it four different sanding grits going from a really fine to an even finer to a, um, the green buffing well sorry the green buffing and then you finally kind of polish it up to a nice shiny finish and there you go no seam line and we're all nicely buffed up and looking really good um, so that is how you do um, getting rid of seam lines um, there are um, as I say another two, to two tutorials out there one doing um, buffing where we look at polishing compounds and make this look really shiny and then of course there's masking this up ready for spraying <laughs>